So in this video, what I'm gonna do is teach you guys how to do a uh, tracking while moving the camera. Similarly to if you had like a slider and at the same time you had a device that would aim at the subject at the same time, like a rhino arc or something like that. Now, this is gonna be a quick tip. Obviously, I'm not gonna go over how to put this person in here. If you wanna know how to do that, I uploaded maybe six different tutorials on how to do this in multiple ways. Go ahead and check it out in a little pop-up box on top right on the top right corner of this video. But basically, I'm just gonna show you a quick tip uh, pretty much how you can go from just sliding as you can see here I mean you can slide like left and right and that looks pretty nice too and you know one of the advantages of doing this instead of your traditional After Effects compositing is you can really move the camera around in and out obviously as much as you want and it's affecting the background as well which is nice because it creates that parallax effect in after effects you can you can you know do create a 3d camera but it's it's not really the same as this so that's why this right here is kind of really exciting so if i go like sc scan up and down or pan down like that everything is working because i am actually in that 3d scene right there i showed you guys a traditional kind of like slider if I were to go like left and right, and that looks nice. That's a really nice effect. But like I said, what if you want the camera to move left and right and you want the camera to stay in the middle all the time, all right? And basically all you have to do to do that is if you click the camera and you go into camera settings, there's this thing right here and I'm gonna go ahead and move it out. Enable look at tracking. If you click this and then you choose your, I'm gonna clear this and you choose the plane or whatever you want it to look at now if i move this camera left and right look at what happens you see that now obviously you can't go all the way because that's going to give away the effect because that plane is 2d uh, it's not really three-dimensional but for little movements like from here to here you kind of see the difference between that and your traditional if i untick it right here kind of see that the left and right versus the enable look at tracking which is pretty sweet kind of gives you that effect of you know like owning a slider and like a, an arc or something because it's rotating with it and it looks like i'm looking at the camera because i am just looking straight out now another way that you can make this a little bit better is if you can f somehow get the plane to look at the cameras similarly to how the camera is looking at the plane i gotta figure out how to do that so that you know it's a little bit better than this because you can see it's starting to break that illusion of having that three-dimensional feel to it but yeah guys that's pretty much it it's a really simple trick and it's an amazing trick if you want to do some crazy movements uh in unreal engine 4 when you guys are doing your uh you know virtual production and whatnot